Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problems related to series resonance. And here the problem is, a constant voltage at a frequency of 1 MHz is applied to an inductor in series with a variable capacitor. When the capacitor is set to 500 picofarad, the current has the maximum value, while it is reduced to 1 half when the capacitance is 600 picofarad. Find the resistance the inductance and the Q factor of the inductor. Right. So from the given problem, you see what are all the given data. Here a frequency of 1 megahertz is given to a circuit that has inductor and a variable capacitor. What do you mean by variable capacitor? That is a capacitor whose value of capacitance can be adjusted. Right. So when a capacitance is set to 500 picofarad, right, when the value of the capacitor is 500 picofarad, the current has the maximum value, right. So what does it indirectly mean? The circuit acts as a resonance circuit when the value of capacitance is 500 picofarad, right. Only at resonance, the current will have the maximum value. Next is, while it is reduced to one half, that is the value of current gets, gets reduced to half when the capacitance is 600 picofarad, right? When the capacitance value is 600 picofarad, the current gets reduced to half. Find, we have to find these factors, right? So first, write down the given data. Then, we start with this basic formula, right? F is given by 1 by 2 pi root of LC. Squaring on both sides gives an expression as F square is equal to 1 by 4 pi square LC. So therefore the value of L is given as L is equal to 1 by 4 pi square F square and C. So here from the problem we know the value of F and C. So just substitute the values here and finally the value of inductance is calculated as 0 0.0507 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry, right. So, picofarad means, regarding capacitor, picofarad means it represents 10 to the power minus 12, right. So, the next thing is, at resonance, the value of current, that is, which is generally given as E by R, because at resonance, what, what do we say, that is, XL and XC, right, XL and XC, they cancel each other. Therefore, the total impedance of the circuit will be simply equal to R. Right. So, the value of I is given by E by R. So, at resonance, the value of current is given by E by R. Right. Then, when the value of capacitance is 600 picofarad, right, the current is reduced to half of the current at resonance. So, we are generally writing... And the value of capacitance is 600 picofarad. Our circuit is won't be in resonance state, right? Therefore, the value of current is given by E by Z. And this current is equal to half of the resonant current, right? What is the half of the resonant current? Here at resonance, the value of current is I. Therefore, here it is equal to I by 2, right? Now, substituting the value of i in the place of i here, it is equal to e by r. Therefore, here we are writing it as e by 2r. This is 1 by 2 is already present. Instead of i, I am writing e by r. Right. Therefore, when you, com when you compare these two expressions, we can write it as the value of z is equal to 2r. Right. So, when you square on both sides, this becomes z square is equal to 4r square and z is nothing but r square plus xl minus xc the whole square. Right. So again, name this as equation number 1. Now we are proceeding to the next thing. That is, we are calculating the value of xc as well as xl. So xc is given by 1 by 2 pi fc. So, the value of frequency is fixed, right? Because the circuit is provided with a constant voltage source. So, the frequency is 1 into 10 to the power 6. And now, the value of capacitance is 600 picofarad. Therefore, the value of Xc is 265.3 ohms here. And the next thing is, we are calculating 2 pi Fl, right? So, 2 pi, we know the value of F. The value of L is calculated previously, right? So, just substitute the value and the value of XL is 318.6 ohms, 
right now the thing is we are going to substitute this xc and xl value in this equation number one so when you substitute you see what happens this is our equation one right so just the first thing is we are rearranging this equation that is we are simplifying this equation then you can substitute the values so here when you move this r square to the right hand side so that becomes 3 r square right so again we are framing an expression for r right so when you rearrange finally the value of r is xl minus xc by root 3 so now just substitute the values of xl and xc we have we can easily calculate the value of r then the next thing is we have to find the q factor so q factor is given by this formula omega naught l by r or else you can substitute it as 1 by r into root of l by c so we know the value of r l and c right we can substitute and we can get the formula or in other words you see in the place of omega naught omega naught is nothing but it is our 2 pi f naught right so just substitute it over here 2 pi f naught into l divided by r so here the value of q is calculated as 10.34 right here comes the end of this problem we will move to the next one the problem is a coil of inductance 9 henry and resistance 50 ohm in series with a con condenser is supplied at constant voltage from variable frequency source if the maximum current is 1 amps at 75 c per second that is cycles per second it is nothing but frequency find the frequency when the current is 0.5 amps so here you see we are having an inductor a resistor and a condenser is nothing but a capacitor and they are supplied by a constant voltage source from variable frequency okay here we are having a source in such a way that the voltage value is constant and the frequency we can vary at a frequency of 75 hertz the current is 1 amps so if we have to calculate the frequency at which the current is 0.5 amps right so first list down the given things r l okay the maximum current is 1 amps at a frequency of 75 hertz and what is the value of frequency when the current is 0.5 amps right so the value of maximum that is when when the current will be maximum when the circuit is a res under resonance condition or it is a purely resistive circuit so here i max is equal to e by r therefore e is given by i max into r we know the maximum current we know the r therefore the e is 50 volts here and the next thing is when the value of current is 0.5 amps right so impedance we are calculating impedance here so z is equal to e by i so the value of e is 50 and the value of current is 0.5 right so the value of impedance is 100 ohms so again what is the formula for impedance it is r square plus xl minus xc the whole square right so again when you rearrange you see when you move this r square what happens z square minus r square is xl minus xc the whole square we know the value of z we know the value of r right so just substitute and finally we are calculating the value of xl minus xc which is nothing but plus or minus 86.6 right so name it as equation number 2 now the next thing is you see the formula for xl is 2 pi fl right we know we don't know the value of f so keep it as such so therefore the value of xl is 56.6 f here and the next thing is we are moving on to the resonant frequency formula so under resonant frequency formula the first thing is we are squaring on both sides and the next thing is we are writing an expression for c so now just substitute the values here and the value of capacitance is calculated as 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad right next xc xc is given by 1 by 2 pi fc again the final value of xc is calculated as 318310 divided by f right so the thing is we already we had framed an expression for xl minus xc 
which is equal to plus or minus 86.6. So here the thing is just substitute the values of XL and XC. Right. So here you see we are having two values that is plus or minus. Right. So when the value of F is less than F0, we are considering minus sign. When the value of F is greater than F0, then we are taking it as a plus here. Right. So now we are going to analyze both the situations. So first you see we are considering when the value of F is less than F0. Right. So under this condition we are assuming let the value of the frequency in this expression as F1. So in this expression replace F with F1 here. So what happens? Right. 56.6 F1 minus 318310 by F1 is minus 86.6. So when you take LCM here. So what happens? F1 into F1 becomes F1 square. And again this F1 gets multiplied with this. So when you rearrange finally we are getting a quadratic equation like this. Right. So again we are solving the quadratic equation and finding out the roots. Right. Here we are using the basic formula. Minus B plus or minus root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. Right. Therefore the value of F1 is 74.23 hertz and the next thing is when the value of f is greater than f0 the value of f is equal to f2 so just replace f with f2 and the value is equal to here it is plus 86.6 again when you take the lcm and everything we are having a quadratic equation like this again just using the same basic formula find out the roots here so here the value of F2 is calculated as 75.76 hertz. Right. So here you see the value of F1 is 74.23 and the value of F2 is 75.76 hertz. So here comes the end of this problem. If you have any doubt let me know in the comment section. Thank you.